the month of October. I'm not sure where you are, but for us, we have the um, seasons are starting to change. We're a little bit slower. We just came back from Pennsylvania and we are in New Jersey. Pennsylvania is a little bit ahead of us in the terms of bright colors and vibrant colors. Ours are just getting to that point. A week ago, everything was still green. So I hope you enjoyed those pictures just prior to me chit-chatting with you and you got to see some of the barns and the fall foliage out there in PA and it was a wonderful time. We were out near the Gettysburg area if you are familiar with Pennsylvania at all, not far from Gettysburg, about an hour, 45 minutes outside of that area. Carlisle, Harrisburg, Chambersburg, all in that area. So it was a great time. So we did a couple of stops and I thought I would show you some of the goodies I got. You never know if you're gonna be out in that area. Uh, I believe Homestead Tessie, who I love her channel and we connect quite often on um, Facebook and YouTube is in that area as well. Lots of good Amish farms. So we did go to a little farm market. I was looking for salad to bring to my sister's house and they didn't really have the produce I was looking for. They were pretty sparse in the store. I don't know if I caught it at the wrong time of day or what. They're open year round, so it's not like it's a seasonal place, but it was kind of bare on other than apples and things like that, which I'll show you some of those pictures at the very end. But what I did get is it was $3.99 and I've seen this in many of the Amish markets and I've never picked it up. So I thought this year I would. And it's just Christmas jam and it says old fashioned Christmas jam. So at the end, I will do a close screenshot of all of this so you can see it. Um, the name of the place is called Country Breeze. So if you're out in the Chambersburg area and you wanted to stop in, they do a lot of bulk like flour and sugar and rice and they have a lot of the bags of pasta and all the seasonings and all the jams and jelly like the um, bags of jelly you would if you made homemade donuts and a lot of canning supplies and all that kind of stuff as well as fruits and vegetables they have a little meat market a little deli not a real big place but if you want to check it out so we're going to try this old-fashioned christmas jam and i thought with some crackers cream cheese and this jam that might make a nice treat during the holidays. I did pick up, and it's uh, Mrs. Wegg's ketchup mix for canning. And that was $3.49. You can freeze it, can it, or and then it says, and serve it. I, I'm curious, I'd like to try my hand at canning homemade ketchup. I've never done that. And I've heard pros and cons. Yes, some people like it, some people don't. I figured worst case scenario is I can it and we don't like it as ketchup. I'll just throw it into a soup or into the crock pot with a stew or something like that and still use it. But you need six pounds of tomatoes. That's about 18 medium ones. And uh, one can of tomato paste, one or, or, oh, six pounds of fresh tomatoes or six cans of diced tomatoes ah so here's a thought one can of tomato paste one package of this one and a half cup sugar and one cup of distilled vinegar so we're gonna try it i'm gonna give it a shot i like trying new things then i picked up three flavorings i've never used these flavorings i use extracts i picked up a pineapple flavor and again i'll show you these up close in a picture in a screenshot I picked up butterscotch flavoring. That is one of my favorite flavors and a maple flavoring. And I never thought to check the expiration date. So my pineapple expires December, 2020. Now, yes, I know you can extend the life on most things, but I don't know on stuff like this, if you can. It's by Walnut Creek. So if any of you buy Walnut Creek products, I know that's pretty popular and you've used their flavorings, how long do they last? So they get like a diluted flavor after a while? Um, let me know. Then this one is 2021, November. So I have a whole year on the butterscotch and I'm sure I'll use that up. And then the maple flavor, and this is not till 2022. What I thought about is for my scones, putting some extra flavor in it or some muffins. And I'm doing um, pineapple muffins this week where you take the cake mix and the pineapple 
two ingredient muffins. I'll probably add that in one of my videos so you guys can see it. But I thought I'd use the pineapple flavoring for a little extra. The other thing too is just like when you do fudge, things like that, you can use some flavoring, maple, butterscotch, and so on. And I do a hot milk cake. Oh, it's a depression era cake recipe. I did do a video on that. I probably will be making that in the next week or two up and coming. It is so delicious. And I like to add, you. it's a basic cake recipe and you just add the flavoring that you want. So I'll probably be using these in that. So then after we did that, we went to lunch at Cracker Barrel. I'll insert some pictures right now for you to see. And then what we did is, of course, we had lunch and then we had to do a little shopping and someone had given me $20 for my spending money as a gift because I was going on vacation and they just wanted to say they loved me and they wanted me to go buy something for myself. So I'll tell you what I got. I was able to, it was on clearance and it's a, um, what would you call it? A wrap, I guess, a wrap, I don't know. But it looks like a sweatshirt. But it has a, um, the texture is more like a, a yarn, I guess you'd say, like a wool feel. But it looks like a sweatshirt and it's fleece lined on the inside with gray. And it's one size fits all and it's open on the sides. There's no, um, you know, closure. <clears throat> but there you go. Now you see me, now you don't. And it has a zip here, it's got pockets. And I like having a hood. I travel in my, where I work in my office, the campus, there's several buildings and different times we have different events and I have to walk building to building. If it's raining or it's snowing or anything like that, I like to have a hood instead of having an umbrella just to run from building to building. So I picked up that for myself. It was on clearance for $19.99. So for the $20 that I was gifted, I was able to get myself a new jacket. My husband got a treat and he picked up some Cracker Barrel ground coffee, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Not pumpkin spice, but pumpkin pie. Let's have a smell and see. Can I open it, honey? Yeah. I'll open it a little bit. Oh, wow. It's almost got a nutty smell to it. A little different than a pumpkin spice. Excellent. So I can't wait. We're going to try that out. Make some coffee with that. Maybe even some cold brew grab. That might be kind of nice. Now this I picked up from my mom, which we're headed over there next to, um, last night I showed you my video when I went to Shady Maple and those donuts. So we're going to go visit them today. I'm going to drop off the shortbread that I picked up there for my dad. We're going to have some donuts with them and some tea or coffee or whatever. And then I'm going to give my mom this and I will insert at the end of this, a picture of this. It's hard to see, but I don't know how, let's see if I can light it up. So I'm going to hold this up. You can see it light up. See that? So this is actually a window cling and it clings to the window and it's one of the oil lamps and it has the berries and whatnot on the bottom, but you can actually set it on a timer and light it up. So they had a sample in like a plexiglass window and she turned it on for me and I took a picture which I'll include at the end. And you can see some pictures here on there of just samples of how they did it. All right. Isn't that awesome? I think I've never seen anything like that. It's a Cracker Barrel exclusive it says and it's $7.99 so in case you want to get it. You know how many times you don't have a windowsill to put a candle in? <clears throat> or you just don't want another thing in the house. This sits on the window and at night to light that up. I think that's so cool. So 
enough about that, but I was excited. And then the other thing we did is we, there is a discount grocery store, um, what was it called? Maybe that's the name of it. Grocery Outlet, Bargain Market. So I go to one in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area, and I really like it. But I went to this one, it was right next to Hobby Lobby, and yes, I had to hop over to Hobby Lobby, of course, pick up one or two things there, not too much. Um, but I didn't really like this one that much. We just kind of scanned the area. I was actually looking for ground turkey. We are um, making homemade dog food. <clears throat> so I'll be sharing my journey with you about that and showing you some of the recipes that we're going to be doing. I've done a lot of research, a lot of recipes on it, and our dog is getting older and he's getting, he's losing his hair in spots. And one of the things that dog food, that the dry dog food we're finding out, no matter what brand you get, is really not the best for the dogs. And if you buy dog food, it's so expensive. So the vet told us just make homemade dog food. Ground turkey is excellent and chicken for them, just plain, cook it up, that's it. So I went to the grocery outlet to see if I can get turkey cheap. I was looking for 99 cents to $1.99 a pound. It was $2.99. So I opted not to get it. Plus I'd have to stick it in the hotel fridge and then put it in a cooler bag on the way home. So we'll just check it out here. So stay tuned for some dog food recipes, some crock pot, some instant pot, some just cooked up that I'll share with you on our journey with our dog on helping him stay healthy. But I did pick up a couple things there and this was kind of the boom chicka pop. I don't know if you've ever gotten the popcorn. We like the kettle corn but this was milk chocolate and peanut butter. So I picked that up, it was 99 cents. So we're gonna try that out. We picked these up and I'll show you a closer screenshot of this. Reese's Glow in the Dark. So at first I didn't know if the candy glowed in the dark or just the wrappers. I hadn't read it, but I, either way, I thought it would be kind of fun. This is my son's, my youngest son's favorite candy and I posted it on my personal Facebook page and everybody was laughing and said, it's one thing eating it, but the exit they're curious about. So I'll leave that to your imagination, but it turns out it's only the wrapper. But how cool is that? You can put them under the lighting and then if you're doing trick or treating or having some kind of harvest party or something, just to have them in the bowl and have the wrappers glow in the dark, I thought that's kind of fun. Just a fun treat. I picked up some cookies for my sons. I don't like these favorite cookies with the icing. I think they're doughy. I don't like them, but these are normally, um, what do we pay, honey? Like $2.99? No, $3.99 maybe? $3.99. I think I get them on sale for $2.99. These are 99 cents. So I picked those up for my son, Gavin, so he can have that. And then I picked up, I ordered my favorite vitamins is by Pro Caps with Andrew, Andrew Lessman. My husband is having a vitamin B uh, 12 deficiency. So I ordered them. They're going to take probably a week to 10 days to get here. So I just picked up a quick bottle of B12. So he'll be taking that. And when you're on medication, um, your you know, lifetime's worth of medication, you do become deficient in certain areas. And B12 is one of those areas. So then I also, let me get these organized here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I picked these up. I don't, it's, sometimes it's nice to have the powder. I don't, I'm usually more, I in, I'm into powders more than I am liquid things. Um, I don't know why, I just enjoy it better. But I picked up the Aju, and it's by Heinz Home Style Gravy Mix, and serves eight, I'm trying to see how many pouches you get in here though. I don't know. Well, I'll open this one up so I can tell you but they were two for a dollar, two boxes for a dollar. And I'm going to be making a pepper steak in the crock pot for a crocktober. You can catch that on Saturday night. I did miss, okay, it's one pouch, so one pouch, 50 cents. That's okay. Um, I missed last week's crocktober because of just life was crazy in our home and our life and we were getting ready to go away. So I missed it last week, but I will be on this Saturday night for uh, uh, October's Crocktober. So the Ajou is part of the pepper steak 
I picked up two. Again, they were two for a dollar. I picked up two of the roasted chicken. That's just always good to have. Crock pot, soup stew, if you want to kind of bump up your soup and you're making something and the broth is sort of blah, you can add something like this and it really enhances the flavor. And of course, we've got the holidays coming, so I picked up roasted turkey just to have that as a backup. These you can also freeze. That's not a problem if you're not going to use them right away. So usually I keep them for a while and if after a while I'm like, I don't have any recipes planned or anything like that, I just throw them in the freezer. So that's it. So this was an Amish place called Country Breeze. We went to Cracker Barrel and we did the grocery outlet. So I hope you enjoyed this small haul. And I'll leave some pictures at the end of some of these things close up and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.